by the rise of the Chinese currency against the yen. And it's not really a surprise given the fact that the Chinese currency is pegged to the US dollar. By loosening the peg, the Chinese Central Bank have acknowledged that the Chinese yuan is hurting their export capability and needs to come lower. Now, the Chinese Central Bank can complain all it likes. The Federal Reserve can complain all, it's all it likes. But the fact of the matter is, the Chinese Central Bank needs to do this if it needs to somehow reinvigorate its export market. So what does this mean for the yuan going forward? Well, in terms of going back to the previous chart of the euro against the yuan, the key resistance level on this particular chart is 7.1. Now, 7.1 is on the grey line on the chart. Now, we've moved higher. We can see that on the grey line moving higher. If euro dollar continues to rebound the way that it has done, then we could well see the yuan weaken further over the course of the next few months. And in essence, we could actually see this, this attempt to try and weaken the Chinese currency, the Chinese currency prompt the Fed to put off a potential rate rise. Why is that? Because I think of the risks that the deflationary effects of what the Chinese central bank are doing are going to keep, it's going to keep inflation low. And as a result, we could well see the Fed err on the side of caution over the course of the next few weeks and defer a rate hike. Now, we could well get a little bit of colour on that at Jackson Hole at the end of this month, where the subject 